Yeah. Is this where I go for a road pass? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bagham Outdoors. Just bought a road pass for 20 bucks and uh, we're going out on Lake of the Woods today. Uh, haven't been here since last year, but it was pretty good when I was out here last year. So I figured I'd come back out here and try again. I heard there's some burbot biting and uh, the walleye and soccer bite has been pretty good too. So yeah, we're gonna get out there. It's kind of getting dark quickly. So I'm kind of going a little quick on this ice road, but we'll make it out there. So they have like names for the streets on the ice out here. This one's Sauger Street. I'm currently on Main Street, but like, I don't know, the ice fishing culture up here on Lake of the Woods is just unmatched. There's actually like, there's a bar on the ice over there somewhere that I, I might go to later. Um, yeah, like there's just so many shacks out here, but I'm gonna try and see how far I can go out here and try to get away from some people, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. All right, so I finally just made it out here, just got set up. I'll kind of show you guys what I got going on so far. It's definitely not done yet. Like I don't have my blankets and everything in here yet. And obviously that battery's in a really weird spot, but that's pretty much it. Just uh, got the flip over out here and I uh, haven't caught anything yet. I'm just jigging, I've marked a couple fish, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see outside. There is like a few shacks around, but it's not too terrible getting close to sunset i'm probably gonna put out a, a tip up with a sucker and then in here i'll i'll jig around and put down a router reel a little later uh yeah i am kind of concerned about this water as soon as i drilled the hole uh water came up through because my car is kind of close here which is kind of concerning because my fabric for my shack and the toboggan itself could actually get frozen in the ice so I might have to move in a little bit, but we'll see. There's one. What is this? This feels kind of big. That fish was suspended. Reduce her out of the hole. Fighting really weird. Nice walleye. For Lake of the Woods. This fish came in probably four feet off, but usually, and there's a car driving by right now, but usually fish are not actually this big in here. Um, that is like a perfect eater. Nothing can eat that guy. He's probably. 17 or so sweet i caught him on ultralight rip and wrap um and basically i was jigging like a foot off and i seen his mark like four feet off reeled up to him about a foot jigged up a little bit and uh he pretty much crunched it so sweet i'm just gonna throw him on the ice for right now and he's gonna freaking splash all over but Hopefully we can get some more. That's pretty cool. I've only been jigging for like 10 minutes. So yeah, I haven't even put my tip about either. So I'll get that out and put a sucker on it. Hopefully we can get some more. All right, a little update for you guys. Uh, it's dark out now. I just moved the shack. Um, I got it away from that uh, watery stuff. Now I'm just sitting on snow so I don't have to uh, worry about being frozen in the ice tomorrow morning. And uh, we're still rolling, but haven't gotten bit since that last walleye. I did mark one other fish though, and it seemed like a burbot. It was pretty big and it was just kind of moseying around on the bottom. So switching it up, I got the old burbot jig on with a couple uh, fat heads and 
hopefully another guy will stroll by and uh, slurp them up. So that's the program here. I'm gonna jig for burbot for at least a couple hours and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, it's been a couple hours now. Just a little update for you guys. Um, have not caught anything, so I got my rat oil set up here. I'm gonna drop down a couple uh, fat heads. This is just uh, what I like to use for burbot. Um, two fat heads on a plain hook. Works decent for big walleyes too. And I will send that down. I've been getting some bigger marks close to the bottom, but to be honest, a lot of the fish I've been seeing are like a good four feet off. So I got to tip up outside with a sucker minnow that's about four feet off. And uh, hopefully we get some on one of those. Since it got dark, the action definitely slowed down. I've still been marking some fish, but really they haven't been showing any commitment. So yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty much wait until it gets light out again tomorrow and then hopefully we can catch some more fish. Okay, so I was sitting here watching YouTube. I'm not sure what time it is, but the rattle reel just got bit. It just kind of ticked it for a second and it's, whatever fish has is just kind of playing with it right now. I'm not sure if it's still on there or not. Yeah, it's on there. All right, so the camera turned off, but uh, it's just a little sauger, probably 12 inch or so. Wasn't really expecting to get anything this small after dark. <clears throat> so I'll put the old minnow back down and uh, hopefully something bigger comes along. All right, the current time is like 8 a.m. or something and the rattle reel just went off. Go over and take this. Got him. Didn't feel too huge. Feels like a little guy. Little tiny head shakes. And we got a little soggy. See there? About the same size as the one I caught last night. Nothing too crazy. back get back down there all right it's about 9 a.m now i pretty much went back to bed after that uh, little sauger but um no rattle reels or tip ups all night which is kind of expected it's mainly a day bite out here on lake of the woods um so yeah like i'm marking fish right now but uh yeah it seems like you get a lot of little saugers out here. You do have that potential for a really big walleye or burbot or like really rarely you get like a sturgeon or something. But yeah, I'm going to sit out here as long as I can. I kind of already mowed down my sp like two cans of SpaghettiOs last night. But um, yeah, we'll see. Give it at least two or three hours out here and hopefully we can make something happen. Got another rattle reel here. Let's see if we can get them. Got them. Feels like another little guy. Not very big. A little uh, sauger. Pretty cookie cutter. I don't know, like. 10 to 12 incher but it is action i've been marking like quite a few fish since i got up um <clears throat> and uh they're ready to eat so can't really complain too much the bite around like northern minnesota for walleyes has been really tough so to come up here and actually like get to catch something is not too bad so we'll get this guy back and uh hopefully i can get some bigger ones to eat that would be kind of nice but for right now, it's good that I'm catching fish at least. Got him. Again, feels pretty little. And it's a sauger. This might be the smallest one yet. There we go, we'll get him back. Another little sauger, 
I'll get them back. Just got a little walleye. All right, I wasn't recording. I just got this decent sauger, the biggest uh, sauger I've got so far. And uh, I got that walleye and I need to keep some more fish. So he's not gonna make it back in the lake. Just got this uh, little walleye on the rattle reel. He's probably, I don't know, he's not that big, but I'm like really hungry. This is definitely like a questionable fish to keep, but that'll make three to keep. All right, so I've been jigging for probably about a half hour and actually haven't marked anything. So I think I am gonna head out. I'm like freaking starving. I haven't eaten all day. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video out here on Lake of the Woods for 24 hours. And uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty decent. Like we caught a bunch of fish, but um, nothing really too big. So yeah, as always remember to keep on bagging them.